What's up everybody? One line of CSS just to achieve dark mode on an entire user interface. Is that true? Yes, it is. The nerdy stuff I get excited about, I have to tell you. So this is all inspired by an article that this individual right here wrote, uh, Ekaterina. I probably butchered her name, but I'm gonna give a link to her profile from Dev2. Go ahead and give her a follow for this because this, this, this tutorial is completely based on this article she wrote. And so this right here, we're gonna work through this and just to show you how this works. Also another uh, comment down here by Lewis Lowe. I'm gonna work that into here as well in this video. And so basically, if you want a very quick representation of what a user interface could look like if it's in dark mode, maybe just for a prototyping purposes or showing a client, this would be perfect. It would also possibly work if you have a very simple layout with not a ton of elements and it could actually work live. And so I'm gonna show you also with my own enhancements, uh, we can add a class that will re-invert the actual elements that are getting inverted so that it maintains its normal style. So you can kind of control what gets inverted and what doesn't just by adding an extra helper class. Also with the help of a little bit of JavaScript. All right, so if you guys enjoy this, make sure to subscribe up and let's get started. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Linode. Now as a front-end developer or a designer, you know that you need a personal portfolio. And if you use a website builder like Wix or Squarespace, they lack total customization and they lock you into using their platform. But to be a pro, you need to use the tools that the pros actually use. So level up, start building your own projects and your own portfolio on an enterprise level content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now, real web development sometimes requires knowledge of spinning up servers, managing domain names, and setting up an occasional staging environment. And there's no better or simpler way to learn the ins and outs of hosting your website than with Linode Cloud Hosting. Linode Cloud Hosting makes it as easy as possible for you to deploy a WordPress or Drupal website in seconds with a free Linode one-click app marketplace. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description to get your free Linode account along with $20 of free hosting and all the tools that you need to build enterprise class websites. All right, so to get started here, I, I'm at this uh, site, Free Balma Templates. I haven't worked with Balma in years. I did a, a video on it, but I figured instead of doing this from scratch and creating a, a layout just to demonstrate this, I would use a template of some sort. Um, so I, I don't know why, Balma just came to mind. So what we'll do is just, uh, this is the one, like what would this layout look like if we applied that invert on it, all right? So source code, all we have to do is just uh, click on raw here for the code. We'll copy that. We're gonna, we have an, a blank index.html. We're gonna paste that sucker right in. Um, and we will also right click, open with live server. And that's gonna take a little bit. There it goes. For some reason, the, uh, the header didn't show up right, but you'll get the idea. Anyhow, this is what it looks like. And then we're going to just take this here and change this to CSS, main.css. We're gonna put that, uh, our little rule set, our one line rule set or one line property there in a folder called CSS and main.css. All right, and then what we're gonna do is I, looking back at the original, um, the article that I referenced, I, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off just by this rule set right here, root filter invert 100%, just to see what the results are. This isn't actually what we're gonna use ultimately, but I wanted to take you just in sequential order based on that article. And um, what we see now is if we revert back here, uh, this is what we get. Now this is kind of problematic because uh, if you recall what it looked like originally, it's also inverting the colors, all right? So obviously if you have a site, you have a brand identity, a brand identity guideline, if you're serious. In other words, just as a fancy way of saying, one of the things that you'll have is a color scheme, right? And you're gonna wanna stick to that color scheme even if your site is inverted to a dark mode. This changes it because you're dealing with colors. So how do we fix that particular issue? Well, one thing before we get to that, I, I just wanted to create a little bit of JavaScript so that we can toggle on and off that inverted property uh, based on a keystroke like enter so that we can quickly see the difference. So I'm gonna show you that really quickly here in the actual uh, code here at the bottom. And what you wanna do is just open up a, a script tag and inside of that script tag, one second, look at my reference code. 
just die. Yeah, this isn't even working right there. Don't have to worry about that. We're just going to have the following code. So document dot key press on key press rather. All right, equals function. We'll pass in E for what it returns. And inside of here equals E. Uh, window.event and then we're going to say if e.keycode equals 13 which is the enter key we're going to say document dot document element dot class list dot toggle dark mode all right so we're going to leave it at that and then dark mode class doesn't exist so we're going to change this to dark mode mode so now when we go back to our project here we'll see that we hit enter and it's just going to toggle that on and off for us so as you can see it's blue it's darker blue we have like a turquoise or teal right here and it's just screwing it all up i mean it's just a it's a, it's a bad result but what do you expect for one line right well we can actually fix that um specifically all right so if we look at their article right here um we could see that in the comments section, somebody I uh, provided this little tidbit right here, Lewis Low. All right, so invert all elements. We're going to use filter invert one and hue rotate 80 degree. All right, so we're going to take that, we're going to apply that, and then going back here to our result, we can see now it's actually keeping the colors right here and the, the, these colors right here. Now, of course, the action buttons and the, like this stuff right here, it's black still, even though this is white. And I, I don't, I personally don't think that looks good. So what do you do in that context where there are certain areas where you want them not to be changed? Uh, like for instance, if you want to this, this to stay white, how do you make it stay white? All right, so I came up with this fix right here. What we can do is we can add um let's let's find that title for instance it's uh hello admin so if we do control f hello all right we're going to add a class of inverted all right and then we're going to come down here and i created this little bit of javascript which on the same key press we're going to say document.query selector all we're going to find inverted and then for each we're going to take a result that sorry arrow function and we're going to say result dot class list dot toggle invert so let's go create invert real quick uh the invert is just going to be a copy of this really so we'll say invert and so we're basically reapplying this filter to switch it back to the original so now if we go back Notice how hello admin stays the same. Very, very, very cool stuff. So what you could do, instead of applying it just on this specific title, is we could come over here and we could say, instead of putting it on here, we could put it on, I'm, I'm not sure if this would be on hero body or just container. I think it would be just on container. Let's try it there and see what happens. There you go. Now everything else stays unaffected by that change. Very, very, very cool stuff. Now, what about photographs? All right, because as the article shows, if you use a photograph, it's going to invert them as well. All right, so for the photograph, I'm going to paste in just a, a URL to a photograph real quickly. Um, I'm gonna copy that off screen and then paste it in. All right, and we're just going to put it somewhere random. Um, let's just put it right here. All right, and I'm going to get rid of the class just for a second, just so we can show you what happens to the actual photograph. So here's a real large photograph, as you can see. And if we do this, guess what? It screws up your photographs. But once again, all you have to do is put in the inverted class, and then guess what? Your photographs are unchanged. So it does a pretty decent job. Of course, 
it's not just one line. Uh, really, in terms of the CSS, it is one property, but we're using JavaScript, of course, to, to help mitigate any other issues that, that occur. Um, and so let's just do this with one more example layout. So if we go back here, let's try this one. This one's like already dark by default. So we can just go to source code. We will grab real quickly uh, the raw, copy that create an index uh, index.html, index2.html. All right, and then we're also just gonna real quickly grab this bad boy. And did I just say bad boy? What are you doing? Save that, come down here as well, and we'll grab this good old stuff and put that here. We have no closing body tag, but you know what? I don't even care. I think it'll still work. Um, and then we're gonna go to index two just to check that one out. So index two. And of course it is re inverting these graphics right here. Now off screen, I went with, through and add that inverted class on all the necessary elements that you know should stay and I'm just going to save that. So now this is what our one line does when you basically maintain everything else right here. Now I should note, I if you try this in other browsers, I tried it in the latest version of Firefox. <laughs> Did I just try to paste that in? Localhost 5501, I think we're at, or 5502, I think. Yeah, so look what happens here. For some reason, it's not affecting the background, the body backgrounds in, in Firefox. So that's one thing. I didn't research it. It could be an easy fix, but it is not affecting the background for some reason. And of all things, Microsoft Edge, you know, the Microsoft Internet Explorer people, that actually works. So localhost 5502, and we're going to look over here. Guess what? He can't believe it. It works from a Microsoft based browser. Very, very, very cool stuff. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that very quick video. I know it is a little bit gimmicky, but it does have its potential use cases. Like I said at the be beginning of the video, if you have a really simple project, this could work. And also just for the purposes of prototyping a dark mode, it could also be a great time saver. All right, so if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe up and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.